are exciting here at Kitchen Studio because some new cookware has arrived. And I thought I'd share the adventure of opening it with you on camera. Let's see what we've got. Nice and heavy, very heavy pan, just plain blue steel. Uh, this is a 12 inch. <clears throat> and then the Mondo Jondo, another carbon steel pan, no, no non stick here, 15 inch. Jeez, very heavy. Could almost use a second uh, handle on that one, but that's okay. This is going to make some great frittatas and uh, whatever else. Barely fits on the stove. And that's it. Apparently the rest of the rest of everything's coming in another box. So we'll have to wait probably do well to undo the packing slip and see what we got. Because I know I ordered more than just this. There. Back ordered and... Back ordered again. Hang on. Yeah! Well, the UPS man came back and delivered another package, but it's not the rest of my cookware anyway. I'm still missing the fluted quiche pans and the Silpat mats I ordered. Hopefully they'll come before I need them for my next job. Anyway, that's all from Kitchen Studio for this time. Well, I've got my brand new pan here. As you can see, it's untreated carbon steel, meaning there's no coating or anything on it, and if I left it just like this and got it wet, it would rust. So we have to take some very careful precautions with it. The very first thing I'm going to do is give it a wash. Not only have I removed the sticker, but I also want to wash off the surface of machine oil that they've applied on it at the factory to keep it rusting before I purchased it. Now this goes true with any cast iron pan or any non-finished steel pan. As soon as you're done rinsing it, you put it on a warm burner and just let it heat up. Here, ouch, it's a bit hot. Here's the first pan. As you can see, it's a little bit discolored, but this is on the well, well on the way to being seasoned properly. This wok, which I've had for years, was the same th color and shape when I first bought it years and years ago. Now it has a well-aged patina and buildup of layers of oil. Just like a cast iron pan, this one I've had easily for 18 years and when I first got hold of it, it was being used as a drain pan for my father-in-law's tractor and was full of greasy sludge and all around the outside and bottom were completely rusted. I've shined that up and with repeated and careful care, just like I'm about to show you, this is one of my best non-stick pans. Not only have I had the cast iron pan for easily 18 years, but it's also at least 100 years old. And with careful treatment, my new pan should easily last that long. Now I've had it on the heat and it's dry and the very next thing I want to do is just put in a few tablespoons of cooking oil and using a piece of kitchen paper, paper towel, just rub the oil all over the inside and let it cool down. Now that will build up a layer of oil that will keep this pan from rusting and if I'm consistent and I do that each time after I've washed the pan it will build up layer upon layer of a surface that will help this pan be non-stick or certainly 
easier to use than if I hadn't done it. Now in contrast to the pans I just got, I picked up this pan a little under a year ago when I needed a big size pan for a catering event. The price was right, but it was non-stick and I knew I'd have problems with it. It scratched quite severely on the inside and no matter how carefully or low heat I used it on, I've ended up with this scorched ring in the middle which is no longer non-stick. In fact, it acts as a food magnet and is sure to grab hold of anything I put in this pan. I've hence retired it. But what this means is I can't clean this as aggressively as I need to because it is a non-stick. I'm afraid that if I scratched it too hard, the pan would have outlived its usefulness far too early. When that happens with one of my new pans, or indeed a cast iron skillet, all you need to remember is a little bit of kosher salt in the pan, warm it up slightly on the stove, a little glug of olive oil or cooking oil, and you rub the salt over the stick stuck on the in ingredients. The salt acts as an abrasive, but a mild abrasive. It's not going to cut into the pan, and this will work on a non-stick pan as well. The combination of the salt and the oil and a, and a warm pan helps clean up the pan and impregnate the metal with that oil to create a slick and largely non-stick surface. When that's clean, you just rinse it out and dry on the stove over a low heat. This pan here I was using over the weekend to make omelettes. You wouldn't imagine that a non-stick a non-stick non pan could do that, but most certainly it can if treated with a light touch and proper care and respect. For more information you can check out the show's blog at www.podchef.motime.com and you can always email the podchef at podchef at gmail.com. That's all for the GastroCast video for today. I'm Chef Neil Foley saying keep on cooking and take care of those pants. <laughs>